shaft drive final drive by bevel gears it doesn't look that that's but you look at this it's a pretty good sized picture of course i don't know if that's the right truck you know it's the only the case, yeah the case is similar yeah but i don't it, remember if it has this cut off in the back no, i don't remember it being chopped off no but whatever okay that's the best i could find on it we'll, we'll get her opened up That's what I got when I did the racks. So that's measuring it up to for, for spacing and bill of material. So now I gotta make another one for the body, right. for the bed. Right. First thing we needed to do, pretty much so Sam could have information, you know, to start ordering supplies and stuff, is remove the rear bed section. So we took the sides off, and brought them in. We had to sand down the paint off one of the boards because we needed to know what wood they used back then. White oak? Red oak. It's probably white oak. Yeah. <laughs> some of that wood has been replaced, right? I and would assume some has been replaced, but uh, I at this point we'll have to sand the other stuff that's on the frame and see if they use the whole, see if there's a common wood for the whole thing. That's what the guys would like to do because they want us, because when I told him that we would use ash or oak, he says, well, they're going to stain the same. It's staying pretty close, but if we can use all one, then we don't have to worry about the blending or staining or any of that. I'm going to be taking measurements of the uh, actual deck of the, of the back. That's mostly timber. Uh, at this point, I really feel with the age of the truck that it should be boards for the bottom of the bed and it's all plywood but yet the way it's made it looks like the plywood could have been there from day one and it's screwed up enough or fallen apart enough that it could be original. Yeah. Well, that's all plywood. Yeah, that's what I'm I know they had plywood back in 28. Whether they used it on something like this I, I doubt it because I've worked on a couple of fire trucks. I've worked on uh, the wrecker we have out in front and all the beds were made out of, uh, well, inch and a half or two inch material and- uh, oh, Planking, right? Planking, yeah, it's planking. So I got a feeling that's what I'd like to use on this truck, but we're gonna have to discuss that with the owner probably because uh, if he says no, that he's always remembered, or the family always remembers it being plywood, then we'll put plywood there. But you know, when I start looking for the engine, I'm going to be talking to these guys that own these trucks, and I'm going to ask them if they use plywood. Mm -hmm. If I can get two or three other guys saying, yeah, they use plywood, right. then we're going to go to plywood route. But if they say no, then we're going to go to plank roof. Here's a whole list of phone numbers. These guys either have parts for sale or they own a white truck, mm -hmm. an early white truck. Mm -hmm. So by calling these guys, I'm going to find out a lot. Right. But I've sort of waited so that I have all my questions together. I don't want to call them six times. Right, know. right. All right. Hey, Jim. Everything that comes off the truck, I don't care how small it is, how insignificant it might seem, has to get bagged and tagged with the truck number, the location, for future reference. I tell everyone we can't take enough pictures, even if they're overlaps, we don't care. So many, many photographs have been taken and will be taken from this point forward. 
for the rest of the restoration. But right now the, the wood structure is off the back of the truck. We can do all the dimensional measurements and start getting the, the wood order put together. So that's where we're going to start with that before we before we start taking the cabin chassis apart. <laughs> 